Hey YouTube, it's UV Lone Guy. It's April 26, 2013, and here's what I found on YouTube this morning. And we do begin with the breaking developments in the Boston bombing marathon investigation. Uh, the U.S. Marshal Service confirms that suspect Jahar Sarnayev has been moved from the Beth Israel Deaconess Medical Center here in Boston, and he's now being held about 30 miles away at a prison facilities at Fort Devens, Massachusetts. All right, so now he's been read his Miranda rights by some judge that popped into the hospital and read him his Miranda rights, which in effect shut down the FBI's uh, uh, investigation and he's no longer talking to them or being cooperative. So there's one, and now they've moved him to this uh, hospital. A new state law in Florida restricts police use of drones in the Sunshine State. Governor Rick Scott signed the measure into law yesterday. The Freedom from Unwanted Surveillance law requires police to get a judge's approval before using drones as part of any investigation. There you go. Well, that's something that we could use in every state in the union. And last night, O'Reilly had Glenn Beck on his show, and they were talking about the uh, Saudi national. And uh, basically, O'Reilly let uh, Beck just go ahead and, and present his case on his program, even though he protected his own job by basically not really agreeing with it, just kind of dismissing it, primarily because Fox News is owned 19% owned by the Saudi, the House of Saud. His, while she tries to play this down, his apartment was searched for nine hours. His roommates were interviewed for five hours. He was given a designation of something called a 2123B. This is the, this is the front page of the document. He's holding up the actual document that he was given. This was given to us by sources um, inside of the uh, administration, and we have about 10 sources on it. All right. So anyway, I'll put the link to this down below. You guys can check the entire interview out. And of course, there's this. Sure. Some people get good health care. A few people get private health care. But the vast majority of those in the health care system are going to get slammed. They get nothing. They'll be on the street. They'll be dead, dying. All right. So that brings me to the subject of Obamacare. And oh, this guy. Who will foot the tab when lawmakers and aides are forced on the government-run insurance exchanges? Who will foot the tab? You bastards should foot the tab. Every damn one of you. What do you mean, who should foot the tab? Pay your own way, like the rest of us have to do. Listen to this. Quote, the fact that Democratic leaders want to opt themselves out of the Obamacare exchanges shows that Senator Baucus isn't the only one who realizes the president's health. All right. I'll post the link down below. I got to tell you that. My creative guy snuck out and made that last video. My apologies, but the message is great. So y'all, thanks for watching, and we'll just keep our uh, eyes and ears open as this entire situation develops in front of us. Thanks for watching.